if you want a vehicle that combines off-road prowess, luxurious amenities, and an upper-crust image, something from Land Rover's top-tier Range Rover series should suffice. If your budget is a little tighter, the 2023 Range Rover Sport is a nearly as gratifying choice. Despite its smaller size, the Sport has a similar look to the more costly Range Rover but with more attitude. There are three engine options, including a hybrid inline-six, a plug-in hybrid inline-six, and a mega-power twin-turbo V8. The inside is luxurious and well-equipped with desirable technology, such as Land Rover's newest PIVI Pro infotainment system and driver assistance systems for both on- and off-road driving. When we come to the G-Class, the 2022 Mercedes-Benz G-Class is in a class of its own when it comes to off-road prowess and luxury pedigree. It's essentially a Ford Bronco or Jeep Wrangler for the affluent and famous, also known as the Gelendug. However, just because Mercedes retro-styled, luxuriously outfitted SUV costs six figures and boasts upmarket equipment like massaging front seats doesn't mean it can't handle genuinely challenging terrain though we're convinced that few of its wealthy owners would ever try its stratospheric limits off-road. Despite having a body that looks similar to its predecessor, which debuted in 1979 and was based on a military vehicle, 2022 G-Wagon has a far more polished ride and a cornucopia of modern technologies. The all-new 2022 Range Rover is packed with amenities that make it both luxurious and capable. The incredibly popular 2022 Mercedes G-Wagon is one of its main competitors. The G550 SUV from one of the world's most prominent luxury automakers is difficult to surpass. The new Land Rover Range Rover model may be the only one that can compete. How does the new model stack up against the G-Wagon? Welcome to Life in Luxury, we provide you useful information that it will help you to live the luxury. If you are new here, welcome, and consider subscribing. The midsize Range Rover Sport, like the bigger Range Rover, has been completely redesigned, with new looks, a redesigned cabin, and cutting-edge technology. The all-electric Range Rover Sport EV will hit the market as a 2024 model next year. Mercedes-Benz makes no substantial revisions to the G-Class for 2022. The G550 retains its 416-horsepower twin-turbo V8 engine, a 9-speed automated transmission, and standard all-wheel drive. Pricing Land Rover hasn't announced a whole list of standard and extra equipment for the Range Rover Sport, but we believe the more powerful SE Dynamic will be the trim to choose. Its increased horsepower will likely give it a little advantage both in town and on the highway. Every G-Class costs six figures, and the price may skyrocket with the numerous pricey extras. We'd forego the most expensive enhancements and instead enrich our version with intelligent selections. The exclusive interior option includes finer Napa leather upholstery and snazzier accent elements. The seat comfort package features massaging front seats with vented cushions, as well as adjustable adaptive dampers. The heated steering wheel is the only other item we consider. Both of these two vehicles will cost you a pretty penny to own. Each one has a few different options that range from expensive to extremely expensive. The Range Rover wins in this category again, because it has more options than Mercedes offer. Interior This time around, the Range Rover's interior design has adopted a more basic approach fewer buttons and switches and a more streamlined appearance throughout the cabin. Buyers can select from elegant two-tone textile or real leather upholstery. The dark-tinted chrome embellishments seem really luxurious. Power-adjustable front seats are standard, but an optional set of chairs with up to 22 ways of adjustment, massaging, ventilation, and winged headrests is available. There is an inbuilt air filtration system that is supposed to minimize smells, germs, viruses, and allergies in the cabin. The inside of the 2023 G-Wagon is all on luxury and offers greater capacity for passengers and goods than the previous generation, which adds to the G-Off-Road class's prowess. A 12.3-inch completely digital instrument cluster, heated front and rear seats with leather upholstery, a power-adjustable steering column, and three-zone automatic temperature control are all standard. Buyers may enjoy massaging front seats with ventilation, a heated steering wheel, Napa leather upholstery and a digital gauge display by checking a few option boxes. The G manufacturer choices provide the most sumptuous look and allow for more than 54 possible interior upholsteries, but they are somewhat expensive. While there is plenty of headroom in the front and back seats, 
the experience isn't as luxurious as that of other high-end SUVs like the Bentley Bentayga or Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Nonetheless, the Benz has a lot of cargo room. The model we tested could fit 16 carry-on baggage behind the back row and another 17 with those seats folding, 33 total. Performance The entry-level engine is a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six that employs a 48-volt hybrid system and makes 355 horsepower in the P360 SE and 395 horsepower in the P400 SE dynamic. A plug-in hybrid P440E setup is exclusive to the fancy autobiography trim and pairs an electric motor to the inline-6 for a combined 434 horsepower. The juiciest cut can be found in the P531st edition, which comes only with the twin-turbocharged 4.4-liter V8 engine that pumps out a robust 523 horsepower. Land Rover estimates the V8 will motivate the Range Rover Sport to 60 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds. All models come with an 8-speed automatic transmission, standard all-wheel drive, and an adjustable air suspension. The Range Rover Sport can also be had with an optional performance driving setup called Stormer Handling Pack, which adds rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring systems. The G class is powered by a twin-turbo V8 that makes 416 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. The G550 is as quick on the street as it is capable on the trail. All-wheel drive is standard on the G550, and its engine shuttles power through an obedient 9-speed automatic transmission. The 2019 G550 that we tested had much improved road manners compared with the outgoing model, thanks to an independent front suspension and a lower center of gravity. However, its square and tall body caused a lot of wind noise at higher speeds, and it sure doesn't help the SUV feel swift around corners. Still, the G550 steering feels more precise than ever and the ride quality is composed on all but the choppiest surfaces. Mercedes also equips each G-Class with three locking differentials and a low-range gear, which means it can tackle just about any terrain. That along with generous ground clearance and a maximum towing capacity of 7,000 pounds make it a useful tool when it's not shuttling socialites. These two cars are both capable and opulent SUVs, and have been for quite some time. Land Rover introduces the new generation of Range Rover and moves closer to fully establishing itself at the top. The G-Wagon lacks diversity but compensates with cutting-edge technology and performance advantages. The new Land Rover SUV offers an improved version of the same features, often at a lower price. That is all for today thanks for watching. If you like this video give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. And here are the video we handpicked for you to 